once again my dear viewers wishes to you and my loving greetings to all of you who had been watching my video that is Jacinta's spoken English dear friends all of us know many words lot of words which we see around us when we are at home when we go out on the road we see the traffic rules we see the traffic signals and we have to obey the traffic signals we have to pay attention to the signals and the traffic rules and very particularly if you are you and i am if we are the drivers so for the persons who are driving should know all these and suppose we are walking on the road we have to give attention to the horn sounds to the people who pass by and very particularly when we are in the crossing position we should think of ourselves as well as others it is always that we should think of ourselves and others also so when we say ourselves means grammatically we shall come to it it is a pronoun no? so in the already in the very beginning we were talking about the different parts of speech and we should always pay attention to the content words that is nouns pronouns uh, adjectives and adverbs because they can convey the matter so what happens is we should always know more words names of more things so when we walk on the road when we see the cars flying it is better to know the name of the car and the manufacturer and where it belongs to all these this is a general knowledge only it is better to know that then only when we go out in the public when we are in the midst of friends we will be able to exchange our ideas so it is car only the car dealers can know it it, is, it should not be our thought general knowledge also should be there so to enrich our general knowledge that is to enrich our vocabulary in the in the part of spoken english let us try to know the names of anything we see on the road any vehicle any one any anything we see if we are not able to know it what we have to do is when we go to the office or when we go home we have got lot of ways and means to know no the uh, google is teaching us a lot books are there we can try to know it so when we pass by when we walk on the road or when we are waiting for a taxi or when we are waiting for our bus or auto we can always look around us to note the several things for which we may not know the exact apt name let us take pains to know about it to know them when we go anywhere and sit relaxed for uh, half an hour maybe that half an hour can be spent usefully to find out the different words so that we can enrich our vocabulary when we are rich in vocabulary we will be able to use the words freely using the words freely spontaneously uh, will always help us to speak also happily so we can happily share our thoughts and views with our friends only with a good knowledge of words and with a good knowledge of grammatical rules that is why so long we had been doing a lot of videos about grammar as well as about the certain rules which can be which can be and also which should be applied when we form questions and when we uh, give answers also in our day to day conversation in our day to day dialogue wherever we go no in the bus stop even when we are waiting for a bus if there is a stranger by the side of it side of us and uh, making inquiry about it we can freely say i just want to go to a particular area to the railway station so when will the bus be ready how long will it take to reach the uh, railway station so we can make enquiry to our neighbor waiting for the bus somebody a stranger we can ask this question not in our uh, mother tongue because english is a common language is an international language even if we don't know the person who stands there about his mother tongue we can use our english as a common language and make some questions 
and give some answers also. So can you help me to give me this particulars? Any matter to another person when we know the spoken English, when we know the correct and apt way of asking a question to our neighbor, to our neighbor or to our, any stranger who, are, who is with us, anyone, we can ask few questions in, in, in English that will always give us information. So we can gain information and our knowledge also will be increasing and general knowledge will, we will be able to gain if we know the spoken English. So let us try to frame some questions. Why are you waiting here? I am waiting for the, for the arrival of my friend. From where is she coming? Maybe the question. She is coming from the railway station. So let us wait. And there we can, we can even create friendship with a stranger even by uh, exchanging some sentences like this. Where are you working? I am in a, working in IO, IOB, Indian Overseas Bank maybe. So where, when is your time for the bank? I have to be there in the bank before 10 o'clock. So the, now the time is 9.30. Will you be able to reach the bank before 10 o'clock? So you can just answer, sure, I will be able to go there if, the, if I get the bus now. That is why I am waiting for the bus. I am looking for the bus. I think I will we'll, be able to get into the bus within 5 minutes and the bus and it will take only 20 minutes to reach there. Uh, sure, then you will be in the bank before 10 o'clock. So in that way, we can start the conversation even with a stranger in the bus stand. Maybe next day also the same person will come and we will be able to develop friendship. So the friendship also will be developed because of our spoken English. So in that way, spoken English will help us in many ways. So let us all pay attention to the spoken English by enriching our vocabulary, the knowledge of words and also the knowledge of grammatical rules. No? If we know well the correctly, exactly the grammar rules, we will feel very confident. We will have this uh, confidence and also we will have the trust to have the conversation with anybody. And we will be able to get what we want, the information we will be able to gather and we, maybe we will be able to travel with confidence, with trust. So for that only spoken English is needed for everyone. Let us and, uh, try to do well in our spoken English by going through these videos. That is Jacinta's spoken English videos, which will help us to do well in our spoken English. Bye for today.